Hey everybody, it's Tech Comics. Uh, yeah, I want to do another contest video. I want to show support to this guy's channel because he's been showing support to my channel. And I almost forgot about his contest until I saw uh, Matilda's contest entry for him today. And I'm talking about no other than C. Wooder 19. It's his 100 sub contest. Um, you know, and he's talking about he'll, he'll definitely, uh, you know, maybe do a second prize and, and throw in more books if he gets more uh, subscribers. Um, so yeah, it's great. Um, for me, like I said, I'm doing this for support, bro, because you've been showing me support. So hope I do a good job for you. And I might have something special at the end of the video. I'll try it. I haven't done it in a long time, so we'll have to see. I have to get some confidence in here. But the contest rules is that you have to be 18, you have to be subscribed to his channel, and you have to live in the U.S. So he wasn't able. He said he wasn't able to ship outside the U.S. So he put that you know specifically in his contest uh, video out there for all of us to uh, watch which I watched the whole thing today and uh, I just want to say again congratulations Seawater19 on reaching over 100 uh, I hope you do reach over 200 and that's not because I want to see like a, a second place in, at all in your, in your contest I just like to see your channel grow because I, I really feel that you show some amazing books and uh, you know, and the books you're giving away are amazing, um, especially like Alex Ross Senator. Oh man, that's nice. That's really nice. Um, so what I want to do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead, and uh, this is one of the books I wanted to show, because um, you know I was trying to think of underrated artists, underrated artists, and you know of course like you know the big names are already out there. Everybody knows like who Annie Granoff is, who Scotty Young is, who J. Scott Campbell is, who. Uh, I didn't say already, Andy Granoff, uh, Adam Hughes, you know, um, Mark Bagley, you know, uh, gosh, Trump, you know, Trumpy, Herb Trumpy, you know, I mean, there, there's all those big names out there, uh, Starenko, you know, Alex Ross, Greg Land, you know, all those guys, I hear them all the time, and Jenny Frism, I'm starting to hear her build up, I wish I uh, could, could have found one of my Jenny Frism books, um, you know, so I can show that, but I couldn't find one. But this one here, I just want to make sure I say the person's name's right. The artist in this is Marco uh, Castino, Castino? Con or Constantino. Mar Marco Constantino is the uh, is the artist inside the book. You know, he did all the penciling and stuff. But the cover artist is Stacy Lee, and I really, when I saw this book, I fell in love with the cover right off the bat. Um, and the artwork on the inside, I think, is really done nicely. It's polished nicely. You know, and the other thing, um, the other thing I'd like to say is, you know, there's a lot of underrated inkers out there. You know, and I would say my top one is, of course, my Uncle Randy Amberlin, you know. But, I mean, you know, you got these artists. They do these great jobs, you know. Unless they do their own inking, they have to have something that can match what they can do for their drawing. And... Like right here, the inker for this book did a great job, and uh, doesn't really say. Oh, it's a. Uh, oh, I will not be able to pronounce that, but it's right there. <laughs> it's the one that starts with a B. I mean, just a terrific job. This whole book, and the inside and out, is just beautiful. I love it, um, and you know, the story is pretty good too. I want to hunt down the rest of these books because I believe this is just, yeah, it's a mini series. It's one through six. But I love that cover. And the artist for that cover is, I'm pretty sure she's done more than just this. But, you know, I was just trying to really think of artists that I don't hear that much about in, you know, the YouTube community that we all belong to. Um, and, you know, well, artists for the front covers and artists on the inside. And like you said, it. I think you said it best, C. Woodard, when you said sometimes the artist on the front cover, if he did the front cover, it looks great. But then if he did the interior work, too, sometimes that could be a little shoddy. So, yeah, I've noticed that a lot in certain circumstances. Um, but, you know, it's like I always say, you know, everybody has their off days and on days. So, you know, I, I can live with it as long as it isn't, like, really, really, really bad, you know. But then I wanted to show some Grendel books because... Um, Thanks to my buddy Cal Rowe, uh, you know, he really got me turned on to Grendel. And uh, for me, Grendel has just been amazing. Uh, artwork inside and out, even on the covers. So the artist, um, the penciler, 
is Jay uh, Geldof. Gel yeah, Geldof. I always have a hard time pronouncing last names. And of course, the creator is Matt Wagner. I mean, the guy's a freaking legend. Um, and the inker for this one is John K. Snyder. And I mean, I love the artwork in here. You know, to me, this is like way different from what I just showed. But it's great, you know, and the color just pops. That's what I like, you know. And I can easily find the bubble captions in these books. And the stories are great, you know. They're, they can sometimes be really twisted than not. Uh, but for the most part, I found them to be really twisted. Um, but the greens and all that, you know, and the artwork. I like the fact that sometimes the lines aren't just straight, you know. Adds character to the uh, art. So I wanted to show this one. And I'll just show the cover to the other one because it's the same artist. Um, I try to pronounce first time. <laughs> but this one is issue number 29, Brindle. Famcom is the uh, publisher. Here's another one. And I love how those feet look. You know. Um, then this one here, you know, I mean, he's he's probably established, but, you know, I don't hear uh, enough about him. And uh, I'll just show you the inside interior on this, but he did, uh, I'm positive he did the covers and he did the interior work. And this stuff is just amazing. <clears throat> Hopefully I can pronounce his name right, too. Okay, so if I mess it up, please forgive me. But um, art and story by... Roko, Roko, uh, gosh, I was trying to pronounce it earlier. Samara, Roko Samara, maybe I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'm sorry. Like I said, sometimes I can pronounce names pretty easy. Other times I can't, but it's right there. But, I mean, just the artwork on the front is just freaking amazing, you know. And the interior... Like, this one's all black and white, but gosh, I mean, you could see the expressions on their faces and everything. You know, like right here, even with the blood, it's just cool. It's cool stuff. Let's see if I can find it. I just had a picture where it had a little bit of blood. Yeah, well, you can kind of see the blood spot right down the ground. But, yeah, I love these covers. I like the artwork on the inside, too. The stories are really good. Um, I've been enjoying them. There's still a couple issues that I do need to get to have a good set for this run. Uh, these bags are just crappy. That's why I kind of want to pull it out. <laughs> i got to replace the bags on these. Alright. So... This is three of three. The cover, this is two of three. That's just awesome. Done by this gentleman right there. I mean, these are, I was just trying to think of, like I said, artists and inkers and things like that that I don't hear that much of. Um, or maybe I'm just not watching all the channels that I should be watching. <laughs> but. You know, I just, I love these covers. I love the inside interior. And this one here, I think I go old school. <laughs> um, but this is, a, this is a great book too. Um, I like the artwork in the inside. Um, I still have to read this, of course. Sometimes I can just look at the pictures, too, and I can tell kind of what the, what's kind of happening in the story. Um, but this one here, this is uh, King of Conan, number 43. I love that cover of the dragon on there and everything. That's just sweet, the landscapes, you know. Because that's the other thing I look at, too, is like how well an artist who, um, besides just doing the cover, if, 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 the, if the artist who does the cover is different from the artist who does on the inside, you know, what I can live with, okay, is if the faces aren't that great, I, I, you know, I can deal with that, but it's mostly the landscapes, what the artist has portrayed in the background of the story that will, you know, grab me in. I mean, if it looks realistic in the background and the face is a little off, that's okay. I can live with that. Um, but the penciler on this one was uh, Mike Doltry. Daughtry, Mike Daughtry, I probably butchered his last name. 
that's right down there at the bottom. Not that that's focusing in. But the artwork in here is just, it's, it's phenomenal. I like it. I really like it a lot. I'm just going to try to see if I can find you a decent spot where it shows like landscape that I was talking about. Um, well, this one isn't bad. This is actually pretty cool. You've seen the racing of the horses and stuff, and you can see the cliffs, and the colors they chose, you know? This book is kind of old, so i got to be careful with it. <laughs> um, but just, you know, even like the expressions on the faces right there, you know? Like the landscapes here are just, like I said, I just love the landscapes. You know, it's like uh, another artist I was thinking of. I have to see if I do have some of his books. But it's one that Dr. Banchilla talks about all the time. And I believe it's Gil Kane. You know, I believe that's his, like, his all-time favorite artist. You know, and I didn't really, I honestly didn't start hearing about about him until, you know, I, I got turned on to, uh, turned on to, <laughs> to uh, Dr. Banchilla's uh, channel. You know, and I see what he, I mean, I get what he's talking about. I see what he's talking about, you know. Because Dr. Banchilla, I mean, he can, he can really sit back and he can really uh, tell you why he chose the books that he got, why he got them, and, you know, the artists and everything. Um, and then this is the last one. This is Red Sonia, She-Devil with a Sword. This is number three. It's a dynamite. I love that cover. And what I liked about this book a lot was that, okay, like right here it says, uh, Mark Silvestri and Mel uh, Ribeye or something like that. Ruby, probably. They were showing you like what the other covers would look like and the artists that did the covers and stuff. And then, um, I mean, pretty much in the back of this whole page, back of this book, it, it shows you all the different covers and it tells you who did the covers. You know, so that's pretty cool. So if you're hunting down a certain cover for this book that you like, you know, this story and stuff, it shows you which is great, you know? That way you don't have to look up on the computer. But the artwork in here, I, I think is really great. I've, I've, I guess gotta make sure there's no new spots, but like the coloring, the inker, it's just, look at that. And the landscape, you know what I mean? That landscape is just gorgeous, breathtaking, you know? Uh, I'll show a couple of panels and then I'll tell you who the artist is. I believe the uh, cover artist and the actual penciler are two different people, I believe. His art is, is done by Mel, uh, I can't pronounce the last name, R-U-B-I, Rubai? Rubai. <laughs> I want to say Rubai, but I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. Um, and then, yeah, there's a long list of colorists that did this. Uh, cover artists, because like you have uh, Gabriel Delgado, John Romita Jr. Sr., uh, Michael Williams, cannot pronounce that last one, and then the male uh, ribeye, and then uh, then cover E, I'm sorry, that's A, B, C, D, and then they even did a cover E, and cover E is done by Neil Adams. But um, the artist, yeah, I'm sorry, the artist is, the one that did the front cover here, is the same one who did the inside. Because I was, I found some other Red Sonia covers that I really liked. Um, but I wanted to find one. I really wanted to find one that had, you know, the artist who did the front cover and the inside interior. So I was wrong in the beginning. This one does, it's the same person. And I mean, his work is just gorgeous. Dad? Let me pause for All right, sorry about that. My kids were kind of, I got my two oldest ones wrestling right now and they're just making a lot of noise. Um, so like I say, these are some of the artists that I do enjoy. Uh, I know I don't talk about them enough. I don't talk about them a lot, you know, because they, I really have a hard time finding some of the stuff that they've done, you know, and, and a lot of the stuff they have done is mostly going to be in back issues for me. Because um, all I see nowadays is, you know, of course, Alex Ross. And God, I love Alex Ross, you know. I love his stuff. Uh, Charles Vess is another artist that I, I feel, to me, is underrated. But that's just, you know, my opinion. Um, I think Mark Bagley is too, but that's just my opinion, right? Uh, but I just wanted to show some books that maybe I haven't shown in a long time or maybe I haven't shown and show the artwork that's in there and, and talk a little bit about, you know, showing and why I grabbed these books and what basically attracted me to them or 
attracted me to them, got me in that direction. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not stumbling on too much here. Um, it's just been a long day. But um, like I was saying though, I really wanted to shoot this video to show you support Seawooder 19 because you've been showing me a lot of support and I love how you do your videos, how you show your books, how you talk about your books, you know, and your collection is just outstanding. I love your collection. Um, the other thing I wanted to do too is I just wanted to kind of throw this in there. Um, some other artists that I feel that are underrated that are in the community, in the community, okay, is uh, first off, right off the bat, Eddie the Comic Guy. I feel he's an underrated artist in this community. Uh, another one, I feel it's underrated, but a lot of people know him, and like, just like a lot of people know. Uh, <laughs> now this next, uh, you know, know Eddie, this next person I want to talk about though is Comic Brains. I haven't seen him put out a video in a while, but my God, if, if you guys ever go back and watch some of his videos and see some of the art that he's done and some of the art that he's done for people, it's just fantastic, you know? Um, another underrated artist that I feel that's in the community that um, I, don't, I don't see him doing too much, or maybe he has, and I just haven't caught a video of his lately, it is uh, C, CR13, I believe. Um, God, I hope I pronounced that right. Um, he's, he's another uh, gentleman that I remember. Um, I met him through Separate Comic Guy. And I saw some of the art that he did for Separate Comic Guy, and I was like, wow. And then I got hooked onto his channel, you know, and he's such a great guy, great personality. And he, he's actually trying, uh, I remember at one point, and I'm pretty sure he still is, I'm hoping that he is, is that he really wants to get his art degree to be able to work for a company, you know, to be able to do comic books. Um, so. Yeah, if you guys haven't checked out his channel, I'm pretty sure I'm, I know I'm still sub to him, but he still should have a channel out. You can just go through my subscription of channels that I'm sub to, and I believe it's CR3, CR3, I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's just been a while because I haven't seen him put up anything, but he's, he's a great YouTuber, and I think he's an underrated artist, hands down. Him, Eddie, and uh, Comic Brains. Um, there was one more. It's going to come to me in a few minutes. I hope it does. <clears throat> oh, come on. Just had his name in my head, too. Oh, if I can't remember, I promise I'm going to give that person a shout out in my next live stream or next video I do. But uh, what I was going to do for you, see, see what her 19 is. Uh, I used to be able to do this back in the day. I don't know how well I'm going to do it now. Hopefully, it's not too loud. I don't know, piss off my neighbors. But this is for you, bro. All right, this is for you. I know you like wrestling, and like I said, I haven't done this in a while. Got to build up the courage here. Because I used to be able to do the rock pretty good. I'm going to see if I can do it. I might even try to do the, you know, kind of thing. I even got my microphone. It's not plugged in. But let's see if I can do it. Ah, got to build up the courage. If this doesn't go well, I'm going to look like an idiot on YouTube, but I don't care. Hey, man. Sometimes you got to fall, learn how to pick yourself back up, right? <laughs> okay, I think I got it now. Okay. Let me get it a moment, because I love The Rock. I love I loved him when he was wrestling. Let's see if he does. But I'm going to put a little twist on it. I'm not going to say The Rock. I'm going to say my channel. All right. All right, here we go. Blah, blah, blah. I'm good. No, that's Mr. Mackey. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> no, that's Beavis. All right, let me see her. <clears throat> if you smell what Tat is cooking. All right, Tat Comics says rock on. Take care, guys, and see what her congratulations again on your sub count. Hopefully that, uh, <laughs> that's probably going to be stuck on me forever, like Tatrick Swayze and all that stuff, but I'm cool with all that, man, and hashtag feels like a tap. All right, so this is done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> but see you later again, man. Congratulations on your sub count. Thank you for putting this uh, contest out there for everybody. Like I said, I'm doing this for support. I'm not worried about winning, man. Because a lot of times I feel like I've already won when I have a friendship with somebody that I've met on YouTube. And I feel I have a friendship with you. I feel I have a friendship with a lot of other channels. But this is about your channel and this is about you. So, bro, I just wanted to give you a major shout out. I, that's why I did that. I figured, yeah, it's worth it, you know. But I said my name, and I should have said Seawater. Maybe I should do it again, huh? Say Seawater. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can do it again. Why not, right? I'll see if I can do it again. It's gonna get loud though, so if I, I want to put on some headphones.
Let me see if I can pull it off though, because that's a long name. That's a long name. You ready? Uh. If you smell what Seawater 19 is cooking. I can't do that, bro. There we go. <laughs> All right. Rock on, brother. Take care, man.